what's up everyone welcome back to exotica slowly again nice to see you and i just shifted to my new room and so i don't have a desk to make this video but i will try to record with this i hope i'm not looking very funny <laughs> okay so today's video is on ketu's transit through the nakshatra of shravan as we all know ketu is transiting in the sign of capricorn from some time and now i also made a video on rahu transiting in pushya nakshatra so that video's link is there in the description if you have not watched that please go and watch that also so that will also give you a uh view point how to look to this video all right because there are so many harmonious energies between pushya and the shravan nakshatra which uh i'm going to talk about today and yes if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link will be there in the description below and before i begin as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so now we all know about the nakshatras they are what they are yes they are the ones which make up a zodiac sign so now what is the nakshatra of shravan basically i will not go into the technical details of how it represents the vaman avatar but let me give a brief introduction so we all know about that past time when bali maharaj was the uh king of the entire world actually yes we all know about that past time but he wanted to be the king of the heavens also so he was doing yagyas after yagyas after yagyas and he was doing 100 yagyas so because the king of the heavens indra the shrimad bhagavatam says he is known as shatak ratu shatak ratu means one who has done 100 yagyas shatak means 100 we all know that Sachin ne shatak mara. So now, um, when he was about, so now what happens when somebody else does hundred year guess, Ashwamedh year guess, then that person gets the position of Indra. And Lord Vishnu did not want that to happen because for this Manvantara, uh, for this particular time, there's a period called Manvantara, which is a part of Akalpa, which is one day of Brahma, about which I will explain later. The Srimad Bhagavatam's fifth canto explains this in detail. So, one Manvantara has one set of demigods like Indra, Varuna, Chandra, and all, all these demigods. So, for one Manvantara, one Indra stays, and uh, there are 14 Manus in one day of Brahma. Okay, so for this Manvantara, the current Indra, his name is Purandar, as Srimad Bhagavatam says. So, Purandar is currently situated in the post of Indra, but Bali Maharaj is the grandson of one of the 12 Mahajans, Prahlad Maharaj. He, he, he himself is also one of the 12 Mahajans, as Srimad Bhagavatam says. So, Bali Maharaj was doing a yagya, and then the last yagya was about to be fulfilled, and then Lord Vishnu came as uh, who he came as? He came as Vaman Avatar, yes, he was short very much, and then he asked Bali Maharaj that oh my dear great Bali Maharaj you are known as a Raja Rishi Raja Rishi means one who is externally a king but internally he is a Rishi Yudhishthya Maharaj is also one of the Raja Rishis Vishwamitra is also one of the Raja Rishis so you are also like a Raja Rishi yes Bali Maharaj was told like this by Vamandev and he, he, he said that oh uh, so uh, what what are you giving me because bali maharaj had said whoever asks anything to me i will just fulfill them just before completion of the yagya and then B bali maharaj asked this uh, vamandev what do you want and then vamandev said oh i don't want much i just want three steps of land so what do you mean and then when bali maharaj heard this he started laughing because he felt it was very embarrassing to give only three footsteps to a brahman and that too he was a very small boy so how much would his three steps uh, matter right it's hardly anything for bali maharaj and then bali maharaj laughed and then bali maharaj asked him that oh why are you asking three steps only ask something big ask some big home palace etc and then uh, Vamandev said to Bali Maharaj that one who is not satisfied with three steps of land will never be satisfied even if he gets the entire universe. So that is there in the Srimad Bhagavatam. We can, we can read that pastime. And then what happens is Bali Maharaj takes a vow that yes, I will give you three steps of land. 
and in the meantime shukracharya who is venus comes and tells to vali maharaj that hey you are my disciple don't <laughs> don't give this land you don't know who this person is he is none other than supreme lord vishnu himself he is going to cheat you very badly and he is going to make you a pauper he is going to make you a penniless beggar and then vali maharaj said oh my dear great shukracharya i know you are my guru and scriptures say that we should always obey the guru but here he is the supreme personality of god and i also know who he is and i know that what will happen when he uh, uh, when i give the promise of three steps i know what he is going to do but still i will do it because everything is his ultimately everything is lord vishnu's so bali maharaj although he was externally in the body of a demon he was a rakshas but he was in the lineage of the great pralad maharaj who was protected by narsingh dev himself and then uh, bali maharaj said how can i forget the greatness of my grandfather so owing to his words he gave the promise and then he said now you can measure three steps of land and then what bali maharaj what baman dev did baman dev put one uh, one of his feet till the entire satyaloka which actually it is said till the viraja river where from which the ganges came out actually and then the next by the next feet he measured the entire subterranean heavenly planets which is below the bhuloka that all the planetary system basically the entire universe he measured including the earth and then bali maharaj was told by vaman dev that oh bali you are a liar you are such a big cheater you told me that you will give me three steps but you gave me only two where will you put the third step and then bali maharaj said you still have one place which is that place yes you can put the third step over my head because my head is still there with me and then bali maharaj he paid obeisances and vaman dev had put his feet over uh, bali maharaj and then vaman dev was so happy that vaman dev said in the next manvantara you will become the indra and now currently you will go to underwater heavenly planets yes it is uh, a planetary system it's a place known as sutala and the shrimad bhagavatam explains uh, that sutala is millions and billions and trillions of times more opulent than the heavenly planets where indra resides amaravati is its place and then bali maharaj also said that i will personally become your doorkeeper there in the sutala loka and also in the next manvantara you become indra so now cutting the long story short <laughs> what's the lesson the lesson in this video is that when ketu is transiting in the nakshatra of shravan we will uh, if we make certain sacrifices for our spirituality which is for example if you are chanting a mantra then if you can just get up 10 minutes early in the morning and then chant a mantra more or at least if you are chanting two rounds then you can chant three rounds or at least something more at least <laughs> not much but something more if you can do when ketu is transiting because what ketu is ketu is basically nothing but the planet which tells us that look you are not going to find happiness here you are not going to find any happiness here you will only find happiness in the spiritual realm and that is what is there in astrology if you see there are nine planets and there are hardly any benefics jupiter venus are the only unconditional benefics moon and mercury are conditional benefics that means if they are with benefics then they do good otherwise not that great and all the others saturn mars rahu ketu and sun they are all malefics so out of five even if you put moon mercury uh, sorry out of nine five are malefics and the remaining four 50 50 <laughs> so that is what is also there in the bhagavad gita lord krishna says that dukhala mashashvatam napno vanti mahatmana samsiddhim paramam gata he says that this world oh my dear arjuna is a place of suffering is a place of misery so intelligent people do not dwell in materialistic happiness they always try to seek happiness that which is beyond 
with the conception of material realm and there he attains ultimate peace because lord krishna also says in the gita that brahma bhuta prasanna atma anaso chati na kaankshati sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim labhate param he says that brahma bhuta prasanna atma once when one is totally situated in brahma bhuta in spirit prasanna atma anaso chati na kaankshati prasanna atma means he is totally happy there prasanna न सोचति न कांक्षत ही डज नॉट डू हैंकरिंग और लेमेंटेशन हैंकरिंग इज वॉट बेसिकली वॉन्टिंग टू गेट समथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड राइट ओ आई वॉन्ट दिस गर्ल आई वॉन्ट दैट दैट बॉय येस आई वॉन्ट एन एन आर आई फॉर माई मैरिज रिसेंटली आई वॉज डूइंग अ कंसल्टेशन सो दैट लेडी टोल ओ विल आई गेट एन एन आर आई सो हैंकरिंग इज दैट ओ विल आई गेट अ मिलियन डॉलर विल आई गेट दिस विल आई गेट दैट Yes, and lamentation is oh my boyfriend left me, my girlfriend ditched me, she hooked with somebody else. Yes, lamenting is crying for the things that you lost in the past, and hankering is desiring things in the future. So Lord Krishna says a great soul does not do hankering or lamentation. Why he does not? Oh, because he is totally fixed in his spirituality. And then what happens? ब्रह्म भूत प्रसन्न आत्मा न सोचती न कांक्षति समा सर्वेशु भूतेशु मत भक्ति में लभते पड़ा दैट स्टेट ही अटेन्स प्योर डिवोशन अन टू मीन दैट इज वॉट लॉर्ड कृष्ण से जिंदगी था सो नाउ इन दी नक्षत्र ऑफ श्रवण वेन केतु इज ट्रांजिटिंग इट इज अ फैंटेस्टिक टाइम टू डू थिंग्स पर्टेनिंग टू लॉर्ड विष्णु बिकॉज विष्णु इज वेरी क्लोजली रिलेटेड विथ श्रवण एंड एस्पेशली वाई इट इज इवन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट टू डू नाउ बिकॉज एज वेन बली महाराज when he lost something the end result was he gained multiple times more so he wanted to stay in the heavens but the planetary system which he got was millions of times more opulent more beautiful more powerful more benevolent more auspicious than even swarga also so during the transit of ketu in shravan if if we make certain sacrifices to take up certain commitments in our spiritual life we will be rewarded unlimitedly unlimitedly means unlimitedly because bali maharaj also not only he got uh, the material boons the next thing he, he got is that you will become indra in the next month month and these two are important but the biggest thing is vaman dev said i will personally become your doorkeeper of course lakshmi ji came later and she was a bit unhappy that oh my husband is staying with bali maharaj who will stay here and i am alone i am lonely <laughs> so i need my husband back yes so that's a long story some day i will tell how lakshmi ji got her husband back or should i tell it now no no some other video okay so then what happened is uh, bali maharaj was very happy and vaman dev was personally the door keeper can you imagine it's like saying god is like your bodyguard so now tomorrow morning he may not come in front of our room but he can come in our consciousness right so he will also become the doorkeeper of our consciousness so he will ensure that good thoughts come in and bad thoughts don't come in or bad thoughts go out yes we do good, we do good activities we do great activities we do those activities which will, which will give us fulfillment in the long run we do those activities which will ultimately make us happy not on a mundane realm but on a spiritual realm so that is why when we do certain because bali maharaj had to sacrifice something right so bali maharaj had to sacrifice his current situation so so it can happen that you are going on uh, partying with a group of friends but maybe now it's a good time that you stop the party a bit yes people don't like when i say these things but still i will say because those people who are getting benefited they will get more benefit because many people have messaged me in the comments in whatsapp in facebook in email that oh since the time i have watched your videos i have made so many lifestyle changes so i am very glad to hear that so for those people at least i will still say that whatever you are doing is great please continue doing it and especially if you can chant different mantras of lord vishnu yes om namo bhagavate vasudevaya that we can chant or we can also chant om namo narayanaya that we can chant so many mantras are there or we can just chant the name of ram 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 that also we can chant we can chant the name of krishna also because lord shiva was once asked by mother parvati that oh my dear husband the whole world is meditating upon you whom are you meditating upon then lord uh, lord shiva says that famous verse which is 
the only verse which is there three times in the entire vishnu sastra nam it is shri ram ram rameti rame ram manorame sastra nam tatulyam ram nam varanane which means that oh my dear uh, rama devi yes i am chanting the name of ram shri ram ram rameti rame ram manorame manoram manoram means it's very pleasing sastra nam tatulyam so thousand names of vishnu the entire vishnu sastra nam is complete ram nam varanane if you chant one name of ram that itself will uh, suffice and there are also other uh, statements in the scriptures which says that three names of ram is equal to one name of krishna so ma- for those people who are skeptical and mathematical and anal- analytical this is a very good food for thought i guess yes so if you chant the name of krishna once you have chanted 3000 names of vishnu okay and at the same time we can make sure that we read the scriptures like the bhagavad gita the shrimad bhagavatam especially and we can go to the holy places especially if you are in south india then you can visit so many vishnu temples all the divya deshams are there my god so many are there yes divya deshams you can go you can visit tirumala i have made a video on kanchipuram you can type kanchipuram in my channel and you will find kanchipuram video there you can do fasting on by going to kanchipuram yes for 6 days or sorry, sorry for the all, all these 7 days for all the 7 days of one week any any time you go start from a sunday that you can do or you can if you are from north you can visit badrinath you can visit the char dhams yes you can visit if you are from orissa you can visit puri lord jagannath is there if you are somewhere in mumbai you can go to dwarka yes if you are in chennai go to rameshwaram my god india is full of holy places so if you are a foreigner who is watching this then also it is a very great time for you to now if you could go to go to india and travel to some holy place and whenever you are going to holy place then we make sure that we go and visit the prominent places which are there and talk to the people about the greatness of that place otherwise it just becomes like a selfie photo op right we are just going and clicking photos it doesn't work like that so we can make sacrifices in our schedule get up 15 minutes earlier and do some mantras then we could also go to holy places then we can read the scriptures and within our city we can find a spiritual community where we can go and associate ourselves with we can go ourselves and link uh, with the sages there is yes? and then the sadhus who are there we can go and ask them we can talk to them and within our family also if you are married then we can also Uh, make a schedule that okay af- uh, ev- every day till now 9 to 9:30 pm we will sit and read one shloka from the gita we can always do that why can't we do, do that yes instead of seeing uh, serials like kahani ghar ghar ki kyunki saas bhi kabhi bahut hi these serials do they exist now or they don't <laughs> so instead of wasting our time seeing all this saas bahu serials gossip or watching Uh, unnecessary things in the internet we can use some of our valuable time hopefully supposedly valuable time in doing some spiritual practices because now whatever we do uh, ketu will reward us definitely spiritually okay so the energy of ketu with shravan is very harmonious and especially shravan is connected to hearing the word shravana means hearing yes so we can uh, download so many lectures from youtube we can da- download lectures on ram katha krishna katha so many uh, lectures are there we can download and whenever we are going to office or we are go- going somewhere instead of listening to bollywood hollywood garbage <laughs> we can put on those lectures and we can keep hearing or some kirtan we can hear all right so hearing is very important hearing talking and discussing with people so please use this time till whenever ketu is there in shravan nakshatra okay so i wish you all the best and remember always the time of rewards will come very soon when we do our spiritual practices now and then we will ultimately be rewarded unlimitedly hopefully <laughs> and we can also do donations we can give charities we can invite brahmins to our home we can feed them we can and we can always go and ask them is there anything we can do for you because in the fifth canto Rishabh Dev, one of the Vishnu avatars, he is a Shakta Vaish avatar of Vishnu. He says to the most illustrious of his sons, his name is Bharat Maharaj. He says, "Mat seva na mapei dwara vimukte shu." That serving the great souls will open the doors to liberation. 
so if you have many planets especially in the eighth house then i have also made a video on solutions to planets in the eighth house you can go and watch that and if you have planets in 12th house you can do so many other things i have made the video on 12th house also so you can watch those videos maintain a very spiritual uh, atmosphere around you don't meet people who are gossiping or who are discussing about uh, pornography prostitution or about who is having an affair with whom okay or who is gossiping how who got the job yes or all these unnecessary things guard your ears and only put god inside okay and then finally i would say god is there with you all the time <laughs> just look to him and he will be there and shravan perfectly exemplifies this because god was always there with bali maharaj see he became his doorkeeper so don't lose this opportunity okay so i don't know how the audio was if it was not that great please tolerate okay so until next time wish you good luck with another video and that is all if you're new then please subscribe and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is there in the description below okay until next time ketu's transit in i don't know which nakshatra some other <laughs> okay wish you good luck bye bye see you